everyone, Miro is here and this is like this is the tutorial about liars in QuickTime Fusion explanation how the liars work and it just like small explanation about how the how to make something like there's something behind something and it's actually up front of something but it's still behind. It's between so, between the two liars. So yeah, let's get started. I need to like make it change this to this because I have like drawn already set it. Seven to O. Okay. Our frame is like that. You don't have to care about that small box. Okay. Need to make two more liars <coughs> and yeah I'm gonna paint up here a simply room to show it how to do it so yeah give me a minute Basically, room looks like. Let's get saved. Room. Yes. There's no transparency, but okay. Let's add our room. Okay. Load. Tire, so like we can't actually, yeah, whatever. This can work as you can see. There's over this, but it can't be like you can't actually move it behind this. But we want, like, we want to ha have this behind the red wall but at front of the grey wall only this and this part so let's minimize that open our graphic program advanced one my one is gym so <coughs> let's work on that one open our room select the Select our room, our other room. This thing and this thing. Also this. Okay, we have like set it of them so let's cut them out so we'll be gonna have like nothing up here create a new layer whatever called move be move back and stick it in click go okay press anywhere and we have like set up the same but this time we have like only this well I will also find this in very dark blue Let's 
so yeah we have like our room without the that's how our room will be looks like in game but we have like two layers so it's like we have like behind of this we have the behind layer and front layer so yeah let's just make the first layer invisible save it as back room turn off that layer and turn on the front layer the room only save it again this time with a different name front room okay <laughs> that's actually all we need so yeah let's just no i can't do this like that open this find our back of course find our back room okay we need to actually move this up here we don't want to have this or just like that okay okay now we'll go up here to the front layer because we have only the back so make a new object open it find the front layer front room press press ok and as you can see we have like blue up here but when we like put it exact on this layer a bit off now we have like layer that overlapping the background so it looks like they're like it looks like still it still looks like the room but this time it looks like when we move this up here we don't see it because it's a uh, center layer on the back there is back layer so it's our object is like actually between of them so it looks like it have the same effect like spring trap when he was like watching us at the from at the back of the window or just freddy that was walking along the window and he like just fell trip or whatever he did or just like spring trap that, that has been like here and then he was looking at, at us behind from the from behind of the door so yeah that's actually everything that you need to know about this the cameras work same but every camera needs a new layer to actually work So yeah, but yeah, it's yeah. Every camera needs layer again. If you wish to do the same thing for cameras, it will take up very, very much more work. But it will be like looks better. But I don't think so. That it's necessary to make something like that for cameras because it's like. So to put on when you like just when you like made a mistake it will be still looks like you have this but you have the front layer but the back of back layer of camera will be a bit off so it you will be able to see other rooms through this so yeah but that's actually everything that you need to know about the layers yeah thanks for watching i hope this helps someone and comment this if you need to know something more so yeah thanks for watching again and have a nice day